the work ethic this group has put out throughout the off season, the summer, just hitting it hard. And I would say like our linebackers, I would give them a shout out. Say they're probably the hardest working group I've seen around the country. That was defensive coordinator Antonio James talking about arguably SIU's best position group, which is the first up in our position previews this fall camp. It's the linebacker position. Coach Mac McLaren has enjoyed the early going of camp with this linebacker crew. Things that we've been working on since December that now you're starting to see growth. You're starting to see unit cohesion. You're starting to see guys develop. And now you're starting to see depth and growth throughout the room. And I think that's something that, as a coach, I mean, that's why you preach turning the page is because last year doesn't help us. I mean, last year's last year. We've turned the page. We've moved on. It's about focusing on how we can get better. And in a lot of ways, our physicality is going to be something that we lean a lot on is we're going to have to get comfortable, you know, being physical and dragging those teams into the deep end. And, you know, sexy's not going to win for us every game is we've got to be able to embrace some ugly and the physical nature of the box and all that stuff. Colin Bohannick is the clear leader of the unit. Bohannick told us early in camp that he really took the time to focus on his body this offseason. Well, uh, I definitely uh, lost some weight in the offseason, tried to lose some weight, uh, get some of that quickness back that I, I definitely lost. Um, but, yeah, kind of just like that, just be more explosive, especially like out of my breaks when I get into pass drops and everything. I'm trying to, to work on my feet, my hips, just stay lower to the ground and be quicker through the gaps. One focusing on small details is the small details are going to make him from good to great and that's a kid that comes in and is like hey can we watch can we break this down talk about my feet talk about my eye progression talk about where this should be but then on top of that a guy that you know wasn't overly vocal a guy that's made an emphasis to find his voice and we've challenged those guys and talked to those guys about that a lot you know it's one thing to be the guy in the middle the guy in the middle has to be able to have the voice and that's something that i think bo has really embraced Shug Walker is an impact newcomer transfer in from Murray State who's got familiarity in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. And Coach Mack says he plays with a massive edge that was needed and welcomed. He's a little rough around the edges, and he's got some, some little, little edge to him, which is good. I mean, that's stuff that we welcome. The friction, that room specifically, I, I, I think that's a big part of it, is the friction within the room is a must, is not, not in a negative, but there has to be a little bit of that scrape against each other to where those guys have friction with each other. They have some snap at each other, and Suge has been great with that. Really just how I was raised, credit to my family, just working hard, working every day. I uh, took a walk-on offer at Murray State as a freshman and just had to really build it from the bottom. From the, I remember being a fifth, sixth on the depth chart, building it up, and just consistently sticking out every day. And that, that's what I bring my edge, is I've been at every spot on the depth chart. And now that I'm, I'm up here ready to play for the Salukis, I mean, it, it makes you go that much harder. It makes you appreciate what we have here and the, and the great program we do have. Ben Bogle was a Saluki that came on strong as the year progressed in 2023. And he can already sense how last year's experience has helped him through the spring and early going here in the fall. I feel like I've made a ton of progress with uh, seeing the game and just seeing uh, different pictures and different formations. Um, I had a lot of great examples like Branson Combs, you know, Dune, uh, Bo. Bo. Um, I, I feel really confident in my game right now. And, um, yeah, I feel like I took a really big step forward in that experience. Um, me and Mac had a conversation last year, and he was like, imagine if, you know, you had this from a year and if, uh, had the experience a year from now instead of now. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really grateful for yeah, all the time I got last year. And Up and down the linebacker room, you will see impact guys who want to be the tip of that defensive spear, as Coach Mack describes, but also have great personal stories. The cool thing about Shane Roth is Shane Roth's a guy that has been a phenomenal special teams player and a guy that's embraced that role here since he's been here. Obviously, he was a year before I got here, but the growth of just him as a player is a guy that comes in with a notebook, with a pencil, direct questions, direct answers. Talk about Presto. That's a guy that, you know, initially you come in, you kind of got the freshman body. And, you know, the thing that's cool is, you know, obviously the spring was kind of up and down for him. But you talk about a guy that's transitioned his body to embrace the position is, you know, we talked a lot about it is this is not this is not an outside linebacker where you're in space, you're a buzz drop. Like there's going to be times where you got to bite down on the mouthpiece. And you got to go set an edge for us. You got to throw it up in there. And, and Miles Wash is just 
I mean, you talk about junkyard dog, you talk about mean. I mean, if I get here at five o'clock, for example, Miles Wash is in here at 5.15. I mean, all summer long, we're going over calls, we're going over stress within those calls, we're going over what we like, what we don't like it against, what stresses it, I mean, the entire playbook. The last guy is Stephen Green. As you talk about the process of getting to where he's at, being the special teams player of the year last year, is that's, 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 a, that's a whole thing of its own, but a dynamic, explosive kid. I mean, tough as tough as tough as tough gets, and very violent. And that's the thing that's really cool to see as a kid that's also changed his body dramatically. I mean, he came out of the filming tower a couple of years ago and he started at safety, and now he's moved into backer and he's really embraced the process that goes into that. Tomorrow we spotlight the Saluki wide receivers as our position previews will continue throughout fall camp, which is presented by the Illinois Army National Guard.